I want to welcome you to this week's episode as we continue a two-part series on how to take apart and clean your camera system. Now again, this is nothing uh, for the faint-hearted. It's nothing that I actually recommend you doing. But if you watched last week's episode that I think I titled a Canon 5DSR versus the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the reason I titled it that is because I was down at the Pacific Ocean and I was actually just trying to capture some B-roll down at the ocean for my tripod because I did a recent tripod cleaning episode. And as I was trying to get some B-roll to just show you the type of use I uh, put my tripod through, I had my 5DSR, which is uh, right here on this tripod that I did the cleaning on, but I had my 5DSR set on my tripod. It was down low and I wasn't paying attention for maybe <laughs> a brief moment. And in that brief moment, I, I looked back at my GoPro camera, which was capturing the video footage and a rogue wave or uh, more accurately, a rogue tide came in. The tide had risen uh, several inches so that when it came in, it actually just um, hit my DSLR camera, my 5DSR, as well as this 24 to 70 millimeter lens right here. And when that happened, I ended up getting all kinds of sand and salt water, not only in my lens, but also on my camera system. And so last week, uh, if you saw that episode, you know that I uh, took apart my 5DSR, got all the sand out, uh, made sure that I cleaned off all the parts, especially internally. And so I was really fortunate that, you know, when you, when you purchase a Pro DSLR, especially from Canon, they are built like a tank and, and they're supposed to be able to, to uh, withstand uh, the elements. And, and I know that they're not supposed to be thrown into the Pacific Ocean, uh, but nonetheless, uh, because it was my Pro DSLR camera, it, it definitely uh, went toe to toe with the Pacific Ocean and it is still working wonderfully. Uh, but I did give it a good cleaning. So if you didn't watch last week's episode and you wanna see what it's like to take apart a camera, I wanna encourage you to uh, do that. I'll, I'll provide you the link below. But today, what I'm going to do in this week's episode is I'm going to now take apart my Canon 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens because I don't know if you've ever been down to the beach and maybe had too much sand get uh, in your camera lens, but you know when you when you do the zoom like uh, in and out like so, uh, sand very easily gets into the tubes. And because I was in the um, because my camera and my lens got dunked in the ocean, uh, this was just soaked and uh, I've got a lot of sand in it and in, with that sand it's just got this scraping going on now. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take apart this 24 to 70 millimeter zoom lens and um, and so let's get going. Now before you ever go and take apart your lens in order to clean it or do any repairs you're going to want to make sure you have the right tools. The first tool you will want to have is a 1.5 to 2.0 precision screwdriver set. What I love about these precision screwdrivers is that they have a magnetic tip to help as you work with the small screws. The second tool you will want to have is a precision tweezer set for handling the small screws and parts that you will be working with. And what I love about this particular set is that it has a variety of sizes and styles to help you with your project. The third item that you will want is a camera cleaning kit in order to clean your camera lens and the parts. And I've provided links below if you're interested in getting any of these tools. In order to take apart your lens, the first thing you will have to do is unscrew the four screws that are attached to the lens mount mounting ring. After that, you will need to unscrew the two tiny screws that attach the lens mount to the PCB assembly which is the lens's main board or circuit board. But with your precision screwdriver, 
you will begin unscrewing the four screws to the lens mount mounting ring. After you finish with the four screws to the lens mount mounting ring, it's time to unscrew the two tiny screws that attach the lens mount to the PCB assembly. Once again, you will need your precision screwdriver for this. Once you have all of the screws out, the next thing you will do is pull out the plastic back cover. It just snaps out and then take the lens mount and the mounting ring off. Something else that is really important to do when you are taking your lens apart, or any equipment for that matter, is to keep all of the parts together. So what I like to do is simply keep the screws inside the parts that I take apart, just as I am doing here. The next thing to do is pull off the rubber zoom ring. The rubber zoom ring covers what is called the zooming ring, and the reason for this is because you will need to get to a little part that is inside here called the zooming brush. But before we do that, we are going to remove the PCB assembly, which again is the lens's main board or circuit board. The way you remove this is by unscrewing the solitary screw that holds it in place. After removing the screw, the next thing we will do is detach the six flex cable ribbons on the PCB assembly. In order to detach the flex cable ribbons from the PCB assembly, you will want to get one of your precision tweezers in order to get a proper grip and securely pull the connectors apart. On this particular lens, there are a total of six flex cable ribbons to pull out. After removing the screw, the next thing we will do is detach the six flex cable ribbons on the PCB assembly. And these are very important that you're delicate with. So you grab it right here and just pull out like so. So as you see, it's a little insert. I mean, we are dealing with the computer board here. In order to detach the flex cable ribbons from the PCB assembly, you will want to get one of your precision tweezers in order to get a proper grip and securely pull the connectors apart. On this particular lens, there are a total of six flex cable ribbons to pull out. The next thing we will need to do is to remove a little part that is called the zooming brush. The zooming brush is located underneath the piece of tape on the zooming ring. And so you will want to get the little scalpel from your precision tweezer set and use it to help peel back the tape so that you can then remove the zooming brush. Then you will want to get your precision screwdriver and simply remove the solitary screw that is holding the zooming brush in.
Once you've unscrewed the zooming brush, you simply want to pull it out and set it aside. All right, so now we've got a handful of little screws that we've got to pull off. After removing the zooming brush, we want to remove a part called the zooming key by using our precision screwdriver to remove the two screws that are attaching it to the zooming ring and the rear barrel mount. Now that we have that done, and we already have the flex cable ribbons disconnected, as well as the circuit board removed, our next step will be to unscrew all of the screws that are attached to the rear barrel mount. Okay, so now that I took all the screws out, what I'm gonna do is just lift this up. And as you can see, I'm gonna be cleaning out the inside of here. And, uh, and then this here will also just come off like so. Can you come and help me put this back together, please? <laughs> okay, so now that I have the lens apart, I'm going to go ahead and start trying to clean out any sand that might be inside of here. Now this is where our optics are located, as well as the USM motor. Now, I'm not going to take this apart any further, but I am going to use the blower here to try to dislodge and remove any sand that might be unseen or any debris. I just wanna make sure that everything is working smoothly here. The next part that we are going to clean is the external barrel and this goes over the USM motor. And I wanna give this a good cleaning by wiping it off with a rag, as well as using the air blower on this in order to hopefully get out any unseen sand or debris. I also wanna remove the rubber grip on what is called the manual focus ring in order to once again, just blow out any hidden sand or debris. In addition, this lens was hit by the Pacific Ocean, so there could potentially be salt water stuck in places like this that will need to be removed and dried as well. And so now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and put the rubber grip back onto the focus ring, just like this. The next part we need to clean is the sleeve assembly unit. And so what I'm going to do is grab the rag and wipe out any sand, dust, or unseen debris. I will also use the blower just to make sure we get it all out. Now once you've cleaned off all the parts to your lens, it's time to reassemble it. And the first thing you will do is put the external barrel back onto the optics and USM motor. And when you do this, it's important to make sure the distance scale is aligned correctly and that it is able to travel from the 0.38 on the far left to the infinity mark on the far right. Next, we will want to put the focus sleeve assembly back onto the external barrel. 
Once this is done, we will then want to put the external barrel back onto the optics and USM motor. When placing it over the USM motor, it's important to have the flex cable ribbons located in the correct spot due to the fact that we are preparing them to reattach to the lens's main board or circuit board. In order to do this correctly, you will want to put the external barrel on but not allow it to go all the way down into position because you will need to use the precision tweezers to help pull each of the flex cable ribbons through. This can take a few tries, but just take your time and you'll be able to do this. The next thing we will want to do is reinsert the screws that go into the rear barrel mount. After reinserting the screws into the rear barrel mount, we are going to reinstall the zooming key, which is this piece here. It just slides in here, and you want to align the holes so that you can correctly insert the two screws back in. The next thing we are going to do is reinstall the zooming brush. After that, we will reapply the tape and then put the rubber grip for the manual focus ring back on. In order to reinstall the zooming brush, you simply insert it back into the slot, align the hole up, and screw it back in, just like this. After reinstalling the zooming brush, you're going to want to reapply the tape. Now, don't worry if some of the adhesive is gone, uh, because you're going to have the rubber grip to hold it in place. And so you just want to put the rubber grip back on over the focus ring. Just like this. Now it's time to reinstall the circuit board. When reinstalling this part, you will want to make sure it is aligned correctly with the six flex cable ribbons so that you can reinsert them correctly when it is time. You will then want to take the solitary screw that holds the PCB assembly in place and screw that in.
So again, the goal here is to get the circuit board aligned correctly with the flex cable ribbons. We want the flex cable ribbons to be able to reinsert into the white connectors located on the circuit board. Once you have everything lined up correctly, you will take the solitary screw and reinsert it so that it will hold the circuit board in place. And once you've finished doing that, you will then take your precision tweezers and reinsert the flex cable ribbons into each of the six white connectors, just like I'm doing here. The next item we are going to reinstall is the rear sleeve assembly. When reinstalling the rear sleeve assembly, you want to make sure the red dot is to the right of the contact assembly. That is the piece that attaches the lens mount to the circuit board. And I know from first-hand experience that if this is not aligned correctly, you will not be able to attach your lens back to your camera body. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is reassemble the lens mount. And once we get the lens mount aligned correctly with the rear sleeve assembly, we are going to reinsert the four screws into the rear sleeve assembly. Okay, we're almost done now. The next thing we're going to do is reinsert the two screws into the lens mount 
in order to attach it to the PCB assembly. The final piece to this puzzle is simply inserting the plastic back cover back into the camera lens. This is a simple fix. It just snaps back into place once you have it aligned correctly with the contact assembly. Now, don't be afraid to press it in once you have it aligned. It should snap in easily. I want to thank you for watching this week's episode. And if you found it helpful, can you do me a huge favor and hit the like button? as well as the subscribe button. This will let YouTube know that you like this content and you want to see more of it. Also, if you want to be alerted anytime I upload future episodes, just hit the little bell next, next to the subscribe button and YouTube will uh, give you a little alert anytime I put in new content. Well, I want to thank you again for joining me and I hope to see you next week. Until then, go out and capture the world. Yeah.